Geoengineering is the idea that it might be possible to intervene to moderate climate change, to actually uh, engineer the Earth's climate system in some way, some small way, to counteract the effects of greenhouse warming uh, caused by carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. There are two main ways of geoengineering. One of these would involve reflecting a small percentage, maybe 2% of the sunlight that reaches the Earth back into space so that it uh, does not warm the Earth and that would have a net cooling effect. The other way would be to go and try to actually remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, the extra that we've added, to actually remove it and return the system to a state nearer its normal state. And that would reduce the greenhouse effect uh, and cool the planet in, in that way. Solar radiation management uh, would involve putting some sort of reflector somewhere to reflect a little sunlight away. And that might be uh, small aerosol particles up in the stratosphere where they would have a big cooling effect and not much warming effect. Or it could be brightening clouds, which already reflect a lot of sunlight back into space, and going to areas where they're a bit thin and uh, putting particles that would attract water vapor to uh, enhance the number of particles and so make them brighter. Or it could just be to increase the reflectivity of land surfaces, uh, including possibly white roofs, or, or even uh, planting crops that have a slightly higher reflectivity uh, to reflect again a small percentage of the sunlight away. The advantage of solar radiation management uh, methods is that they are very quick to take effect. The, we know from volcanic eruptions that the effect is uh, more or less instantaneous within a year. And so you can uh, act quickly to potentially avoid an emergency of some sort. Uh, some of the methods uh, also look as though they would be relatively cheap to deploy um, and so affordable. And uh, the disadvantages are that they do nothing to actually address the root cause of the problem. You create uh, an artificial balance between uh, man-made greenhouse warming and man-made solar radiation management. And you would have to maintain that potentially for many centuries. And we don't know that we can, we can do that. And they would also not remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, so they would not do anything to reduce the problem of ocean acidification, which we refer to as the other CO2 problem. 